Michaela, thank you so much for joining me and being part of our Speaking Truth to Youth project. I know this is Michaela Jordan, everybody, and you were a former member of the Students Demand Action National Advisory Board. I'm going to ask yeah. you if you will introduce yourself, tell us a little bit about you, and then also what led you to become the activist that you are. Thanks. So so my name is Michaela, sophomore at the University of Alabama, and I've been working with Students in Action since I was 15, back in 2018. Um, I really got involved after the Parkland shooting um, in Birmingham. A girl named Cortland Arrington unfortunately was shot and killed in her classroom. It really affected me. No elected officials in Birmingham really had a real answer of what, like, schools should do and students should do and even though it was an accident and it felt like no one really had any answers instead of just thoughts and prayers so that's why I really got involved I had started researching students to in action and I started a group um, in Birmingham at my high school. What particularly led you to continue I mean you know it's one thing to say yes I'm upset about this but then to just kind of have that courage to keep going. So the people in Students in Action is really what helped me keep going. I really, really got super involved in the SDA um, back in 2020. Over the summer, we had a, a summer of action um, where we called into priority states across the country and registered over 100,000 voters, which was super, super motivating to me. I met so many amazing people, so many amazing Black women um, in Students in Action and Every Time for Gun Safety who really gave me the courage to keep going. And I saw what they were doing in their communities, and I wanted to be just like them. We're so divided in our country right now, and we have people that say, yes, it's my right to have a gun, and other people that are saying, no, you know, no guns. And I'm sure you've had conversations with people and been in dialogue with people who kind of come at something from the other side. How do you approach that? So being level-headed is the number one thing. I'm from Alabama. So I'm never, nine times out of 10 when I'm approaching someone with this issue, I'm never going to have someone that completely agrees with my side. Being level-headed, making sure that you hear all sides, because not everyone is wrong. Your opinion isn't always right. Making sure that you are being open-minded, effectively get your point across um, where you feel like that you've explained yourself and explained why. So yeah, it's not, I, there's no not really a debate when it comes to gun violence and having common sense gun laws because the majority of Americans actually are in favor of common sense gun laws. We just wanna make sure guns are in the right hands and people are properly trained and guns are securely stored um, in homes. Can you think of a time when somebody has been so adamant that you really had to step back and kind of figure out how to approach that? Maybe when I first started, I was more stumped on like how to approach people, um, especially when registering voters um, during the summer of action. But I really haven't had, other than completely hostile people where I just shut the conversation down, there's not really that much back and forth. What continues to guide you or give you courage in your work? Completely Black women. Um, I have so many amazing mentors within a town and Students in Action. And right now I intern with Every Town for Gun Safety as the um, Students in Action field intern. And just looking around and seeing the amazing things that the Black women are doing, it's insane. And even looking in the media, um, seeing people like Kamala Harris, um, she's a vice president. And she looks just like me. Stacey Abrams looks just like me. She's a girl from the South. <laughs> Makes me want to do better and make sure that our future is safe. What advice do you have to other young people to how to start to get involved? Or what are some things that they should think about as they try to move forward? One of my big things for people that are getting involved um, in any movement, really, as a young person, you always have like school, you always have extra your extracurriculars, but making sure that you set such time aside um, to help ensuring your future. Uh, I think it's an important, a important, important responsibility for a young person to come in and be like, oh, I want to make a difference and I want to have some stake into how our future plays out. 
but we are our next leaders and I'm super super proud of the other students and students in action they're so amazing and my next piece of advice is don't be complacent if you have uh, an issue if you have a topic that you're passionate about stick with it and stand up for it no matter where you go it's sometimes as a young person it's easy to feel like pressured into thinking one way or feeling one way about something when you don't you don't have to do that stay true to yourself um stick up for yourself don't be complacent especially with the things going on and the ideas going around in this day and age and make sure you get involved because getting involved is very, very important if you want a future that is curated towards you and your community. One last thing. I'm feeling pretty discouraged about gun violence right now, especially when I look at 2023 and the horrible statistics that we see you know, coming towards us. What's one step that, that I could take or that you would say anyone could take to kind of address that issue? Call your local legislator. That's my biggest, biggest thing. In so many states across the country, um, there are legislators in the session considering things like permitless carry, no background checks. So calling your local legislator and expressing to them how you feel about the current state of gun violence in your state and in this country is probably the number one thing that you can do. Make sure you go and vote. (laughs) People underestimate the power of your vote and make sure you're educated on the people that you're voting for in your state your state's laws matter way 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 more um to you and how your everyday life is lived than your the federal laws so go out and vote make sure you call your local legislators and know what they're talking and make sh- and know what they're talking about know what who they are Thank you so much, Michaela. It's been lovely talking to you. And is there any last words of wisdom you want to share? I'm so thankful um, for this opportunity and the opportunities that Students in Action gives me. Gun violence is a pressing issue. It affects my community more than anything else. I'm going to continue working towards change. And I'm glad to have people like you here with me listening to our stories. Thank you so much. It's been great to talk to you.